Originally, uh, we started off funding by Kellogg to develop a survey. Um, school demographics are changing, and so as that occur, um, how do the schools respond to this population? And we often hear is that we don't know what to do. Our, our demographics are changing. Uh, we don't know how to change the instructional practices. We don't know how to engage families. We don't know how to get kids prepared to go to college. So it's sort of a struggle. So I think the first thing we wanted to say was that it isn't just about telling you the demographics are shifting. Now we have possibly a solution such as this survey that can measure how inclusive the schools are to their changing demographics. I believe this research is impactful because we really have developed an authentic research partnership with the school district. We really have developed personal relationships with these individuals. They know that we're in it for the long run and we're in there to help be a partner. We understand that as those needs of those students are changing based on the demographics, we know that there needs to be a change in the policies and practices and how we are addressing those needs of those students that are coming in. We're here to address the changing needs of an organization. Southwest ISD is on the southwest corner of San Antonio, bordering the Atascosa County. What's unique to Southwest ISD is we are 86% at risk some of our campuses are 99% economically disadvantaged, and then other parts of campuses have wealthy people. So then you have an inner mix of everything. We have anywhere between 12,500, and now we're up to almost 14,000 students. The survey was developed based on theory of um, organizational inclusiveness, especially for schools. Every year we identify an area for improvement in the district. For the first year, um, our focus is apparent engagement. In the second year, we focused on um, critical transition years and then career readiness. And this year, we are working on literacy. We developed the survey for leaders and teachers and also parents and students so that we can get all stakeholders' voice. I think we try to tailor out our professional development to the specific needs of the district. One thing that I think is especially helpful with the participation of um, many different stakeholders and many different roles on a campus is that it brings conversations about what are we doing to, um, to make sure that we're addressing those special populations of students on our campus. What are we doing with regards to family engagement? Are we meaningfully building relationships with families? What's the takeaway? Are we hoping that at the end of this activity, are they better able as families to support the work that we do with them in school? Are they extending it into the home? The first year, what I saw, the growth in campus, thinking about what is best for parents was the greatest insight that we had. So we decided to find out where they would have fun. So we held our parent meeting at Trader's Village, which is the local flea market that has rides and games for students. And they had over 324 parents show up for that event at that place. We put it where the parents are, not where we are. I didn't have suspensions last year. My students' behavior has been amazing. It's phenomenal because students know parents are there. Students know parents are involved with what's going on on campus because they're, they see them there on a daily basis. They see them a part of different things that are happening. So it has really changed the culture of my campus. What I'd love to see for our district is that we continue these types of programs uh, that we continue to help our parents get uh, more engaged in the experience of their students, and we continue as a system to hear our parents, to, to hear their voice, uh, and not just hear it, but listen to what they're saying at the table. And we just need to continue chipping at that rock. We need to continue increasing student outcomes and seeing more and more of our students making good and great choices beyond their high school days here. I hope that if we take anything away from this, that it is from being a part of this wonderful project, is that um, what we put in place is what continues as we move forward. <laughs>